Hey guys, I'm Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography and I'm based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. And this video is an open letter to Olympus. The rumor mill has been predicting the certain death of Olympus and Micro Four Thirds in general for the past three years. I have an idea that just might save Olympus in particular. At a minimum, it should boost sales for Micro Four Thirds cameras and lenses in general. If you're curious to know what that idea is, stick around and find out. I know, I know. The last thing you want to hear from is a self-absorbed YouTuber who isn't a real photographer, who's giving business advice to a camera company, right? Well, believe it or not, I actually do make my living as a full-time photographer. Just to put my credentials out there and just so everybody knows, I photograph about 1,000 homes per year, about two to 300 portraits a year, 15 or so weddings per year, and I also shoot about 50 real estate videos per year. Photography is my livelihood. I'm probably just as qualified as much as anybody else to offer advice to a camera company. That said, here goes. This right here, is in my opinion, the single biggest missed opportunity in the history of Olympus. Let me explain why, and let me also express how I think Olympus can fix it and revive their fortunes as a camera manufacturer. This right here is the Olympus Pen F. It's a four-year-old camera that to this day, in my opinion, represents Olympus's single biggest missed opportunity in their digital era of photography. Why? Well, let me tell you, I own a lot of cameras, a lot of them. How many? I own 17 cameras, three Sonys, six Nikons, two Canons, one Panasonic, two Olympus, two Canon cinema cameras, and one Fuji. But when I go out in public with them, and I do this all the time, the overall majority of the time, nobody ever notices, nobody ever comments, nobody cares, unless they're photographers themselves. Then they might ask something like, what am I shooting, or mundane stuff, maybe a knowing comment about the lens or the camera body that I'm using. You've all been there, you know what I'm talking about. However, whenever I go out in public with this camera, something happens. People stop me and ask me things like, what is that? Where did you get that beautiful thing? Oh my God, what a cool camera. Does that shoot film? Where do I get one? I mean, that's just kind of, just the kind of example of the feedback that I get from people when I dare step outside with the Pen F. It's proof that much like Apple, back when they were at the top of their game and coming out with new and innovative products all the time, design, beauty, and form mattered. Unfortunately, sometimes a bit more than function, but where Apple also excelled and executed in the actual function department, Olympus, specifically with the Pen F, well, unfortunately, they kind of crashed and burned. As gorgeous as this sculpted, petite, sexy little body is, if a camera can be sexy, its stunning beauty is unfortunately only skin deep. If the Pen F were human, it would be the supermodel equivalent of that woman that makes your jaw hit the floor at first sight but after being around her for a few weeks, it becomes quite clear that she can't string a sentence together, much less a cohesive thought, never mind holding up a conversation. Oh. Because as gorgeous and as tempting as the Pen F is to look at, and it is, it's also easily the single most frustrating camera that I think I've ever worked with. For starters, the battery life is miserable. It's the old EM5 Mark I batteries, and they're garbage, especially by today's standards. Worse. There's no battery grip, at least not one that I'm aware of that actually powers the camera. There are grips like this one right here, but they're there to make the camera easier to hold and a little bit more ergonomic by extending the grip. The tripod screw mount is oddly placed forward as opposed to the center, and a lot of tripod heads will get in the way of lens movement, be it focus or zoom. It's very frustrating. If you do video, the Pen F doesn't have a mic jack, and continuous autofocus performance is suspect at best, especially in autofocus tracking in fast moving stills photography. It's really super mediocre. And that's because the Pen F relies on contrast detect autofocus, which isn't all that reliable with moving subjects. Oh, and it only has one memory card slot. You all know how I feel about cameras with only one memory card slot. The mode dial on the front here, it's for these kitschy art filters that I'm not sure anyone actually uses except for maybe the monochromatic mode, which I admit, most photographers who utilize the Pen F genuinely love this feature about the camera. I just wish Olympus tied this dial to some other more commonly used function, or maybe we could program it to some other function. 
as it is right now, it's more of a consumer-oriented, kitschy kind of a thing. On the plus side, this was either the first or the second Olympus camera with the 20.3 megapixel sensor, and still image quality is in fact quite nice. In fact, it's beautiful. The monochromatic mode is pretty awesome. It turns the Pen F into a miniature rangefinder. Just be sure to set the camera to capture stills in both JPEG and RAW to take advantage of it because the monochromatic mode is only available in JPEG. Unfortunately, if looks were only all that mattered because the Pen F could have and should have been so much more and so much better, especially for a camera that debuted at $1,200. At that price point, this camera was strategically and oddly placed between consumer and professional. And unfortunately, it's a little bit too pro for the average consumer and a little bit too consumer for the average professional, which made it a strategic loser. Of course, all of this leads into how I think Olympus can save itself. Olympus, it's time you considered making a professional version of the Pen F, perhaps a Pen F Pro. I think most people know that Micro Four Thirds is losing ground in the camera races right now. To wit, in 2019, Olympus had a 2.8% global market share of camera sales, and that number represented a 22% decline in year-over-year -year said camera sales. Now, I know that camera sales in general are struggling right now, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic, but Olympus in particular needs to do something to jumpstart their sales. And in my opinion, I have one possible solution. Olympus, I propose the Pen F Pro. So what would a Pen F Pro look like? Here are 10 things that I think would make it a smash success. Number one, for starters, they need to keep the essential design elements of the Pen F. Virtually everybody I know, both inside and more importantly outside the photography world, loves the look and physicality and the design of this camera. As superficial as that may seem, Steve Jobs taught us a long time ago that beauty and design matter. And the Pen F has the beauty thing down in spades. Number two, a weather sealed body. Olympus is renowned for their weather sealing. How many other camera companies allow their cameras and lenses to get immersed in the snow in their advertisements? Yet strangely, even at this price point, the Pen F isn't weather sealed at all. Number three, a real battery. I don't even need to elaborate. Number four, an actual battery grip. You know, one that actually has a battery. Number five, Tracking autofocus that works both in video and in stills. You've done it with other camera bodies, you can do it with this one too, which means give us a phase detect autofocus system. Number six, a properly placed screw mount for tripods, so the tripod head doesn't get in the way of standard lens functions like zooming and autofocus. Number seven, a mic jack for audio. Number eight, competitive video specs. Now, I know most Olympus shooters aren't video shooters, but upgrade the video specs just to make them competitive. They don't need to be best in class. They just need to be good enough not to handicap the camera. 4K, 60p, 8-bit, 422, for example, 10-bit would be better, but I can live with 8-bit. Number nine, it would have to have dual card slots. Number 10, Lastly, there are rumors of a 41 megapixel sensor coming out on the GH6. Now, I'm not saying I need 41 megapixels, but a new sensor would be appreciated. They've been kicking this 20.3 megapixel sensor around for four years. The time has come to upgrade. So, there you have it. Olympus, do you want to rev up your sales? Please, go in the direction of a camera that even non-photographers will crave. Make a Pen F Pro that performs as good, if not better, than it looks. Do you need more proof? Do me a small favor. Try to find a Pen F used, specifically a silver one. Used prices are quite high. They're actually really close to the EM1 Mark II, and the EM1 Mark II is clearly a superior camera in virtually every single way. Used Pen Fs are out there between $600 and $800 for one in good condition. So there's definitely a demand for the camera, and I'm convinced that it's largely based on the way this thing looks. Now, Olympus, you just need to revise this camera so it performs as beautifully as it's designed. So. What say you? How do you think Olympus can save itself and supercharge its sales? I'm Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography, and I'm based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give me a like, or better yet, subscribe. And until the next time, happy shooting.